in the yellow deli. Jackson and I are going to go to the farm today. Do a little work. Swim by a waterfall. This place is awesome inside. We stayed in the hostel last night. And it was very good. Okay. We're at the Yellow Deli today. It's day 119. We stayed at the hostel last night. Came down here to check out the farm today. We got Jax and the guy showing us around, his name I can't remember at the moment, picking broccoli. And me and this guy, Rope, we're picking squash, zucchini, and these other things. But that's for the morning. Okay. Let's see what Jax is doing. Hey, hey! Some lettuces. Some corn. Some more, I think, broccoli and cabbages. And corn. And this is some ancient wheat that they grow here for their wheat product. This is cool. I'm just coming to get more crates for the uh, cabbages we're going to pick next. Just got done picking some kale. I got them all cleaned up. Six baskets of those. This is something else, I'll tell you what. We still even haven't had the fun part yet, and this has just been fun. Jax and I got out of the Yellow Deli uh, with our minds still in one piece. We had an awesome time, actually. Uh, the hostel was cool, clean. Um, the people that were working there, very nice, very welcoming, and of course. We went to the farm yesterday, 
and picked a bunch of vegetables, helped them uh, harvest a bunch of things for orders. Uh, did a tiny bit of weeding at the end. Uh, I got to swim in their river on the property, uh, deep enough to jump off some rocks. And then uh, they fed us a good, pretty good lunch. And then uh, milked some goats at the end. And then came back and had a tour of the town with one of the locals, Natalie. <laughs> our waitress the first night. And me and Jax went out for tacos and beers the last night and just was seeing what she was up to. And she drove us to get ice cream. And uh, yeah, we had a good final night in town. Just got dropped off by the bus. They do free transit for the area between towns. Uh, yeah, we're back. Moving on. We're only going to do like five miles today and then. Uh, my uncle, who lives up here in Vermont, is going to pick me and Jax up and either just go out to eat or we might go stay at uh, their campground, uh, which is a little north of here, because there's supposed to be weather coming today uh, from that hurricane that was hitting Texas. It's supposed to be throwing storms around, so uh, flood warnings and stuff, so we might just get to Killington, uh, which is five miles or so from Route 4, and then uh, get off for the night and let the weather calm down. All right, enough talking, let's get to it. You can't really tell, but the rain has started earlier than it was supposed to. Uh, The uh, feet are wet, the clothes are wet, uh, everything's wet, it's all good, but yeah, she has begun, um, and I think I said earlier there's a flood watch or warning for the area, and uh, yeah, it's supposed to get just a bit of rain, It'll get interesting. I doubt it'll be anything like last year. Uh, but, you know, they're talking about flooding, so we'll see what happens with this. Um, so, yeah. It's still kind of got a little afterglow of rain happening compared to what just happened, but, you know, the shorts are clung to you right now. So. What can you do? That is the trail. Only got a couple, two, three miles left to do for, for today, so. But then it'll probably be done raining for the rest of the day. You know what I mean? Which would be fine, because we're hanging out with uh, my uncle, so that'd be cool. But yeah, we've got extra water added to the mud should be a beautiful trail from this point forward for footwork and uh, yeah. but now we're just walking through some campground area I didn't consider looking at the uh, far out to see if there was an icon for what this is. I'm sure it is because there's a shelter right over here with a blaze. This is a legitimate campground. Oh, look at that thing. Talk about a butte. I can appreciate a picnic table these days blaze down here, more camping, there's a blaze right there, here's Jack's lost. That was Gifford Woods State Park, and here's the road, 
but not our road. So. Then they give you these chairs to sit on. But I feel like this belongs to that place up there. Oh, I haven't seen any yet. They got, I don't know that this is Trex, but they got the fake uh, deck boards so they won't rot away. And it looks like the rain has kind of moved on for the day. There was a tornado watch until 9 p.m., so anything's possible, but we'll see. Do you get that though? 